Hey everybody, this is Robert Patrick. Watch Shaun of the Dead. What's going on? This is Shaun of the Dead. Um, as you can see, I'm driving right now, um, but I wanted to do a video, and this is just kind of a little introduction to the main video, and hence the reason I'm driving. Um, the, the video today is, um, what will smokers do in a, a zombie apocalypse? Uh, what are the benefits versus the negativities, and what are some potential alternatives? Now, um, I'm coming to a place right now that will assist me with this video. Um, the uh, let me go ahead and give you the two benefits of smoking in a zombie apocalypse. Benefit number one, you have a lighter. Um, benefit number two is you can take the tobacco out of a cigarette, chew it up, and put that plastery mess on your uh, on a bug bite or a, or a spider bite, and it will help draw out the poison. So you have that those two benefits. Boy, these people do not know how to park. All right, so they're just going to have to deal with backing out in order to let somebody else in if they have passengers. Um, so that is the uh, the two benefits. Now, as you can see, I just pulled up in front of the shop just now. Um, and we're going to go over some of the finer points of an alternative to smoking in a zombie apocalypse. Um, but I did want to give you some of the, uh, the, the uh, positives of cigarettes, which are the two. Now the negatives, heart disease, lung issues, would be asthma, emphysema, um, even just, you know, uh, hampering your breathing some, um, where you can't run as fast, you can't maneuver, you can't run around, you can't do stuff like that. Um, that's also going to be an issue, so it help, you know, helps diminish your lung capacity, which is never a good thing. Um, also, um, the addiction. Um, now, that's, that's going to play a big part in what's going to, what you're going to hear about today is the addiction properties of nicotine and the zombie apocalypse also. Ah, for all those that used to smoke, I used to smoke. I smoked for about seven years. Uh, on my next birthday, I'll be quit for, 20, uh, be quit for 16 years. I had my last cigarette on my birthday, and um, almost 16 years ago. Um, the addictive properties of cigarettes, and for all you that, that, that smoke, no, you wake up in the morning, you want to have cigarettes, sometimes your ritual is a cup of coffee and a cigarette, after you eat you want a cigarette, I mean there's so many times, um, you know those special times, you want a cigarette, you know. Um, so all those all those special times in, uh, uh, that go on throughout your life, there are certain points where you just draws you for a cigarette. Well, um, there is a difference between uh, um, physically being addicted to something and being actually um, um, mechanically addicted. Like the mechanical portion of smoking um, was part of the addiction for me to fidget with stuff. Uh, but also there's the, the addiction to the nicotine, which is the physical part where your body actually craves that cigarette. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about an alternative to that um, physical addiction and the mechanical addiction of cigarettes and on a potential alternative. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, check this out. Guys, well, we're here at Skyline Vapor. This is a vape shop. Just to kind of give you an idea of what this is, this is on uh, this is in Addison, Texas. As you can see, there's people from all walks of life in here. <laughs> Everyone's in here just having a good time. Um, here's the main man here, Joe. Hey, hey! Everybody, say hey to Joe. <laughs> all right. Well, we're gonna go over some of the finer points of vaping, what the uh, health effects are, and um, some of the effects of. Uh, that has had other people's lives even in here. So Later, we'll see how it goes. All right, With uh, Joe at his work table, uh, he's going to give us some rundowns and answer some questions for us. So uh, let's start with the question is, why is it healthier than cigarettes? Like a marble 
Well, when you burn tobacco to inhale it, a bunch of chemicals are released, way more than just what you find in a tobacco plant when you're dealing with modern cigarettes. And with vaping, we know exactly what's in it, and it's a lot better for you than all those chemicals that you inhale when you light up a modern cigarette. So basically, you're dealing without the carcinogens, without the tar, without actually two radioactive chemicals that are in modern day cigarettes, which really good for you to get away from those. And when you turn over to vaping, you know, you're just dealing with vegetable glycerin and flavorings, basically. It's a lot better for you in the long run. Uh, chances of cancer, out the window. Uh, emphysema and asthma, out the window. So that's, you know, just a basic rundown of why it's better for you than smoking is. Well, what about nicotine? I mean, I know people switching from smoking to nicotine, uh, for vaping for nicotine. So nicotine is still not great for you. What about nicotine? That's true. Uh, a lot of people that do vape instead of smoke have nicotine in the flavors that they choose, but that's not how all of them are. Every flavor we have is available with no nicotine in it whatsoever, and that's actually the point is to switch over to vaping from smoking and then slowly work your way down to no nicotine that you're using. Now in a cigarette, you can't really control the amount of nicotine that you're getting. Even with a light cigarette or an ultra light cigarette, you're not in control with how much nicotine you're getting. In a vaping setup, with the hardware that we use and the devices we use, you can decide how much nicotine you're going to be intaking. So, most people start off with uh, roughly the similar amounts of nicotine out of a cigarette and then just slowly bring it on down, you know? All the way to zero is the plan. A lot of people make it down to about the, we have a number rating system for it, make it down to the six or lower level, which is way less than you could eat with a cigarette. On the number rating system, you're getting about an 18 with a cigarette, and so getting down to a six or lower, you're at less than a third the amount of nicotine. And uh, the specifics on why nicotine is bad for you is it really does take a toll on your heart. And it uh, kind of turns your heart into a rubber band that's been at the back of your office drawer for about two years. All the elasticity is gone. And that can come back and haunt you later in life. So it's definitely good to get away from the nicotine and a good way to do that is by switching over to vaping and then stepping it down. So what about you? Uh, you know, you're, you're a nicotine. Do you, do you used to smoke and now vape instead? I did, I did. I smoked Marlboro Reds for a pretty darn long time. And uh, when I switched over to vaping, I was at that 18 level, which is about the same as a cigarette. And I was using it all day, every day. And over time, actually just a short couple of months, I made it from 18 all the way down to a 2 on our number rating system, which is a ninth of the level of nicotine I used to have when I was smoking cigarettes. So it wasn't that hard for me. It's not going to be that hard for you. I know I smoked more than the average bear, or person for that matter, and it was pretty darn easy for me to cut it down. It was pretty easy to transfer over, honestly, too. So it's it's, it's going to work. It's a lot better than patches and the gums for, for me and for most people make a nice lateral switch over and I was able to get off of the cigarettes really easy because of the mechanics of it you know you actually like bringing something to your face and exhaling something and with vaping you still do that it's just a lot safer for you because the products that are coming in and out of your body are much 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 better for the human body than all that toxic crap that's in the cigarettes. That's awesome. So just a few short months you want to put Cigarette bubble all the way down to like a fraction of a cigarette. Exactly, yeah, a fraction of a cigarette. Yeah. That's cool. Well, tell me about some juices here. Yeah, uh, so the juices are one of the main parts of what you'll be doing here. You know, as with a cigarette, you, uh, you have different types of tobacco. You know, some people like their menthol cigarettes, some people like their uh, American Spirit versus Camel versus Marlboro versus all this stuff out there for you to choose from. And the baby market's the same way. You know, you have your different brands and you have your different things going on as far as uh, flavors or sensations or things like that. And so I just brought a couple out here with me. This is a uh, flavor or juice or liquid, as you call it, that has no nicotine in it at all and tastes of caramel. That's nice. And uh, next to that one, we've got the old vanilla bean ice cream. That's nice. 
And this one has some nicotine in it, roughly the same as a cigarette. And this is a lot of it, you can see 30 milliliters. There's also some nice kind of boutique brands, I guess, out there that make really nice flavors. And with smokes, it's the same way, you know. Uh, you have your nice cigars or something as opposed to a Marlboro cigarette. Uh, this one here is a banana chip from Ruthless or Bound by the Crown from King's Crown. Those are very complex flavors made by people with, you know, cooking experience and really involved with what's going on with the palate and how to treat it right. And it can actually be pretty darn enjoyable, you know. Some uh, popular blends are the strawberries and cream or the caramel and apple at the same time. It's so much better than a cigarette. Honestly, after you stop smoking, you'll begin to realize how bad cigarettes actually smell. And once you move over to something that smells like Skittles, your friends will be much more appreciative of you hanging around with them. And actually, Sean, let me see this here. This is just a small sampling of what we have available. You've got all these here in the tobaccos and fruits and savory category, and all these here in your beverages and menthols and candy categories. So you've got a ton. You're going to find something you like, and that's what it's about, just finding something that fits you. If you don't like it, you're not going to use it. That's pretty awesome. There's tons of flavors. Tons. Okay, well, then how do these machines work? Okay, well, how does it actually work? So, the machines themselves are just a battery that's powering a heating element. It's kind of like a really fancy oven. So you just have electricity making something hot. And it gets hot not in a combustible sense, so not like five or 600 degrees like a flame. The juices here actually vaporize at 288 degrees. So all we're doing is getting something that hot. And the thing we're getting that hot is a uh, coil made of material called canthal that gets hot but doesn't break down. So there's no bits of canthal coming off with it. It's just a material that'll stay there, get hot, cool back down, not deteriorate on it. And it's really easy to pick up a basic one like this guy here, where you have a battery platform on the bottom and a reservoir at the top to hold on to your flavor. Energy travels from the battery into the heating element, which is located roughly here on the inside of the device. Juices hit that heating element that's heated up to around 288 degrees, and you can adjust it to your liking a little bit lower, a little bit higher. Just personal preference. Vaporized, and then inhaled. What's actually being vaporized are three things. Vegetable glycerin, propylene glycol, and natural and artificial flavors. Vegetable glycerin is exactly what it sounds like, a vegetable byproduct. It's nice and thick and goopy and vaporizes very nicely. It's in all sorts of things. It's in salad dressings and ketchups and things. It's uh, safe, very safe. The uh, propylene glycol is in a lot of things also. It's actually in some asthma inhalers. And it is known by the medical profession to be perfectly safe to come in and out of the body through inhalation. Otherwise, they would not put it in asthma inhalers. The third thing, the natural and artificial flavors are suspended in vegetable glycerin and propylene glycol. So you're not worried about extra things getting in there that you're worried about. It's just going to taste like a Jolly Rancher, and it's just going to taste like a Jolly Rancher. There's really nothing else going on. So you've got your juice that's made out of those things I just described. Hitting the heating element, becoming vapor, you breathe it in, you breathe it back out. That's how it works. There's different types. There's these starters like this. This is more of a basic thing, more cost effective, you know. Uh, it goes up into something that'll hold a bigger battery. You'll notice the diameter on this unit's larger, so the battery is bigger. I'll put more power. And this one you can actually see the heating elements on, whereas on the other one they're more confined. And on something like this, the heating element is exposed here, and you can give it a little bit of energy and actually watch the process in action, which is nice. Let's get this guy fired up. And there he goes, starting to produce vapor. Notice no flames, no fire, no combustion, no additional chemicals created through combustion, which is what really gets you on the cigarette. Pretty simple. That's pretty awesome. Well, let's uh, talk to one of your customers and see what she thinks. Perfect. I'm here with Lacey, and uh, she's uh, going to talk about how she used to smoke, and now she vapes. So, uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on. Well, on December 
for the twenty first, two thousand and eleven, my then boyfriend gave me and I tried it. I loved it, and I have smoked for the cigarettes since that day. That's about three and a half years. Wow! So not not even touched a cigarette. Not smoked one cigarette. Wow! I can't stand the smell of them. But I didn't want to quit smoking. I just I mean I wanted to quit smoking, but I didn't want to quit nicotine. And I still wanted to be able to have the opportunity to have some nicotine when I needed it. So this was the perfect, uh, perfect thing. Right. And so, so the flavor is better there, or just the same? Or? Oh, the flavors are wonderful here. At this particular place, the flavors are the best of any that I've been to. So yeah. Best choices, best flavors, nice guys, wonderful place. Excellent. Well, and so you know, right, right now you're smoking out of a what? Or vaping, I should say, out of a... I'm vaping out of a, this is a big battery with a, what am I vaping out of? Mini protein 2. Mini protein 2. Mini protein 2. Mini protein 2. Hey, Mike. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, you, know, if, you don't have to know what it's called to smoke it. They just tell you how to put it together and you smoke it. Is that easy? You vape it. You don't smoke it. So. You vape it. I call Excellent. them smokerettes. I call them smokerettes. Sounds I'm good. I'm calling them uh, E cigs, I've heard, and stuff like that. Yeah. All right, smoke a red. All right, very good. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Sure, thanks. Tell us how to get a hold of you and how to order your products. Yeah, uh, we're out of Texas. We're in the uh, North Dallas area, Texas. So if you're in the area, come on by and see us. Tell us that Sean sent you, and we'll set you up with whatever we. You know, fit your needs, suit your needs. We've got all kinds of options here available for everybody. And if you do tell us Sean sent you, we'll get 15% off your order of 30 bucks or more. We're also on the internet, good old interwebs nowadays, helping out everybody. If you're not in Texas or stuck at your home for some reason, you can reach out to us at skylinevapor.com. See most of the things we have to offer on the website there. And uh, if you do decide to pick up some things from us, you can use the coupon code SOTD2014, and that'll get you the same sweet deal for 15% off an order of 30 bucks or more. And uh, we do ship out same day on everything. It's a pretty nice operation we got set up here to take care of you. Hopefully you can come by and see me. That'd be great. But if you can't, I do understand. Just check us out on the internet. Sites up all the time, and uh, we actually got phone numbers on the website too. You can call us up. We'd be happy to answer any questions you got, talk to you about really anything. But come on by and see us, and thanks for stopping by and seeing the group today at Skyline Vapor. All right, and I'll tell you what, I'll put your, uh, just look down below in the description, I'll have the, the coupon code in there, and I'll also have the uh, phone number um, and address on how to get to Skyline Vapes if you're in the North Dallas area. Thanks very much, Joe. Appreciate your time. Hey, thank you.